February 22nd, 20, <laughs> 20, three, we made it to the big 23, all the way into February, it's my reference video, it's wiper motor control right here, all three switches, this is your colors, they are yellow, green, and red, this is my harness loom, Yellow, green, and red, and as you can see, kind of messed up. So what I got is green, white, and black, and a key, because I had to run this wire right here. It's that pretty one right there. Goes all the way out there to the front of the truck. Uh, runs right side wiper, right side wiper motor. That was that wiper motor there. And we have repaired this wire this wire put an extension on the ground wire it's my all these are the radio wires right here my radio wires and I do have other damage this right here this little brown wire I gotta figure that one out I can't see it it's a good reference this is a 87 model I got to figure that brown one out there and that black one, which I'm pretty sure, I almost bet you, it was a dash lamp. Except I'm only seeing two. May not be a dash lamp. But anyway, yeah, I got it. That one and this little white one right here. You know, like, can you see it? I'm going to have to put that little, I don't have to, I don't guess, but those are the lights for your dash. Got some damage on this little, whatever it is right here, but it goes all the way over into here. It wraps around the cigarette lighter, 12 volt adapter for a hookup. I got to glue this little thing back in pair of these two wires here which I'm pretty sure goes to my it says rear heater the left defrost right defrost clearance lights fog lights aisle lights and map lights and we've got a lot of repair done in here we repaired the temperature control or the HVAC switches and controls now the black vacuum line goes to your Vacuum bottle out front underneath the hood. This big vacuum line right here. That's your primary vacuum feed that comes back to this black one here. And then you gotta hook up the white one, hook up this orange one, and hook up this green one, which are your HVAC controls for your HVAC box. I gotta still gotta splice this to my wiper motor. I repair these two wires right here. And I will have to tape that up. I'll have to disconnect it and tape that one up. I think there's enough left that would be all right. I might solder it. I don't know. And you're going to need a torch or a soldering iron. You're going to need, a, you know, quick, quick connectors. And the way I do mine is I crimp one in, take the torch and heat the plastic part up and remove the plastic take this stuff off of there and heat it up it gets soft and you can pull it off and then you take your solder and generally I use a torch and before you do that you know you want to slide your piece of this heat shrink on there I got one of these kits so it saved me a little bit of money I'm tired of paying all that money for a couple of little pieces of heat shrink and you do your heat shrink repairs, you solder in your fitting, because if you just crimp these fittings, they're very unreliable if you crimp them. Crimping things together like this, which I may go ahead and solder that one since it's right there. And the reason I had to crimp that one right there is because it's so close down there, I don't want to melt, melt my wires or anything. So I actually got one crimp. All the rest of these are repaired and soldered and heat shrinked. Let's talk about these wires that are 
the rat ate up. Well, this is rat damage. People want to know what rat damage is? Well, it's a real pain in the behind. So you got your spinner or your throttle cable right there. Wait a minute, it's not your throttle cable. That is your control cable. This little switch right here. That's how you control your blend air door, hot to cold. You got the blower motor, which is on up in there somewhere. See that little dirty wiring right there? Dirty. Goes to my, my fan switch for my blower motor. This all comes through that little bitty hole there. See? Goes out underneath the hood. You're going to have to remove some of these hoses. These hoses are screwed in. They got screws in them. You have to get in here and duct tape or something to repair your leaks or replace them. That one there's got a lot of linen still, so I get the vacuum back in there and get working on that. Got most of the rat crap out of there. Got a power hookup right here, like a cigarette lighter. And this white one goes out to the, under the hood and it hooks up to the ground. Just grounds into the ground. Just about screw it anywhere. And this one right here, well that's the white one. The red one, it runs all the way across. All the way over here. To this side right here. Of course there's your antenna cable for your radio. Of course the radio didn't, didn't fare too well. Neither did the HVAC controls. Yeah, they... Rat chewed all the wires and too, but I'm pretty sure these are your speaker wires. Maybe a speaker wire too in there too. I don't know. These right here could be your speaker wires. Ain't no telling what's on it. It's a pretty old radio. It only has a cassette player on it. This is your vacuum hose, goes up on this bottle here, this black hose, goes back up through there, all the way to your HVAC. Uh, this white vacuum line, well it's obvious, it goes right here to this control, this HVAC control here. That'll all have to be replaced because it's just rotten. It's just, they just get old and rotten and if they get stuck in the weather, they literally just fall apart. Just nothing but powder. And that just leaves me two HVAC lines to figure out. So we got the white one figured out, got the black one figured out. And one of these HVAC controls is on one side of this thing, and the other one's on the other side. This one right here, I can't see the color. Let's see if we can pull it up. Okay, the red one goes to this HVAC valve. So that means I got one other HVAC valve. So that's red, white, black, two of them. We got a green one and an orange one to find. I'm pretty sure there's another one down there somewhere. Green's up in there. So since that one's red and I got a green piece of vacuum hose laying in there. It's probably up in here somewhere. Anyway, we're gonna find the HVAC valves. I gotta get some vacuum line. I mean, it's not vacuum hose. I see vacuum line. Pretty cool stuff. Lots of fun if you like doing electrical work. I still gotta figure out where some of these things go. This one here, it's, it's another light. Looks like it might actually go into a fixture or whatever that's supposed to be under the dash there somewhere so you can see down there by your feet. And this wind wheel. I don't know if it goes to anything. That's the thing. Sometimes these little wires, they don't they're just there to hook up certain things, but sometimes that certain thing or that particular option does not exist on this vehicle because it was never set up to start with. Yeah, you will need some cutters too.